I know punters are in it for the glory, so what does it mean to get the, the Mountain West Player of the Week? Uh, it's a great honor, um, especially looking at our conference. You know, I think we're one of the better conferences in the country for, for punters, so I mean, to be in the same group as, as most of those guys is, is a tremendous honor. Is it surprising at all when you look at kickers and returners and everybody else, but for obviously to have people notice what you did, I guess, what did you think when you found out about that, and, and, and how does that make you feel? I mean, I was a little bit surprised, but you know, to be recognized for, for the work that I do and the rest of the specialists do is, is definitely a, a nice to, to see every once in a while, for sure. When, when you're, as a punter, like, you know, running back to score a touchdown, defensive player gets sacked, like, what fires a punter up? Like, what, what's, like, the, the best thing that you can do? Um, I mean, I always want everyone to do well, so that does fire me up, too. But, um, you know, when the specialists go out and, you know, we have a big kick or, you know, Coda makes a tackle maybe on the rare occasion, but that, that fires me up, too. Um, and I, I just think just being out there with everyone and, and seeing everyone does well, do well, um, that, that fires me up, yeah. just that. I mean, I mean, is it, like, is it you pin one inside the 10, or is it you unleash, like, a 60-yarder, or...? That's pretty like personal. Both, both of those, yeah. Um, you know, punting, as soon as it comes off your foot, you can kind of, you know, predetermine how, how good of a punt it was. So just kind of that feeling of like, oh, that was, you know, a really good punt, or we put him inside the 10 is, is definitely, that's like the high of a punter. Well, You've named been a, like in the special teams meeting rooms and stuff this week, obviously they had the onside kick and they had the, the long return and stuff. I know Coach Harson wasn't happy with some of that. What's it been in the special teams rooms trying to get some of that fixed? Uh, it's always just about getting better. I mean, no game is perfect. Uh, we always have things that we can improve on, and so that's just kind of what we've done this week is just, um, you know, learn from the mistakes that we've made, you know, in the previous weeks and then get better on that and, you know, hopefully continue what the punt team has done, continue how well Ross has kicked and, you know, maybe get a, a, a return for a touchdown or something and make a big impact on special teams. That's the goal. You were named a, a semifinalist, I believe, yesterday for the for the Campbell Trophy. Uh, you know, punters don't get the glory, but is it cool to get recognized for for something like that? And, and what do academics mean to you? Um, I mean, everything. I'm I'm here for you know football, but I'm also here for school. I think uh, I work really hard in, in academics, and to get recognized for that is is definitely really cool to see. Um, I mean, and there's there's been some big names that have been nominated for that. So again, to be in the same pool as you know. Half of those people is just tremendous. Do you, do you have to be a little weird to be a specialist? I mean, you guys are kind of self-deprecating and all that stuff, maybe a little more so than the rest of these guys. Why, why does that come with the territory? I don't know. I think because we're off on our own all the time, we kind of just grow insane, I guess. But uh, specialists are definitely a, a weird bunch, and you know, I, I fit right in with them. So uh, it's that's just what comes with it, I guess. What's what, what's it like out there? You know, at practice. I mean, you guys kind of have to entertain yourselves for a while, so. You know, what do you what do you talk about? How do you how do you keep busy in, in your little special circle there? I mean, you guys you guys have all seen that. I, I don't know. Every day is different. I'm you know I go in like oh what are we gonna talk about today? And uh, we still have to go out and do our jobs though. Um, so you know when it's time to be serious and, and do our jobs, that's that's what we have to do. But um, we do have a lot of downtime and, and kind of I think messing with each other too is, is a way of kind of calming the nerves as well because, you know, as specialists, we don't need to be fired up and, you know, ready to run through a wall. We need to kind of have level heads. So I think uh, the joking and all that is, is all fun, but it is also, I would say, a purpose behind it, too. Did you say grow insane? Is, it, is that like a saying for specialists or something? I, no, I just came just not <laughs> <out of laughs> Okay. Yeah. Case in point, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you look at your kick average this year. You're up about two yards per punt. I know the sample size isn't huge mm -hmm. at the moment, but... Is there something different there? Or? I think just kind of kicking with confidence, you know, being that this is my fourth year playing now, and just going out there and just kind of being relaxed and, and not having the you know nerves that maybe I used to have, and um, trusting all ten guys in front of me that you know they're going to do their job. It makes it all easier for me to where I just you know worry about kicking. And I think going out and having having confidence is, is the biggest thing with with punting. It seems like uh, I think Utah State is maybe one of the better returners in the country in Rodriguez. What 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 makes him kind of different than uh, you know what, what do you guys kind of see in terms of what they have at the, at the return spot? Um, I think for me personally, I just have to go out and do my job. You know, if if I go out there and I hit a hit a clean ball with with decent hang time, it gives the guys you know a chance to get down there and, and hopefully he gets a fair catch. Um, and if not, then then they kind of rally around and and make the tackle and try and not give him a chance. You know, so. If we do have fair catches, you know, all game, that's that's a good thing because it takes the fun out of it for for everyone. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Grow, grow, grow